Hello everyone, welcome along. That was the Godfather theme, just in case you, you didn't know from the title description. It's really, really beautiful that, isn't it? Well, probably not the way I play it, but anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to play it in video one, and in video two, I'm gonna show you what the chords are, all right? So let's get on with it. All right, so let's look at the first phrase of this, this tune. It's really beautiful, this. Now, the timing is a bit weird here. It comes in on the and of three, so it goes one, and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that's the timing of it let me show you what the phrase is nine on the d nine on the g then 12 11 nine on the g so that's nice isn't it then we have this bit 12, 9, 11, 9 on the G. All right, so so far we've got. Then the last phrase is this. That's 10, 12, 9 on the D there. All right, so. Remember, you can put the slides in if you want to, not too much, otherwise it'll sound a bit strange. Right, now, the next phrase, which also starts on the and of three, is exactly the same, apart from you finish it differently. So the, the second phrase goes. That's really cool, that bit, isn't it? That's nine, eight, seven on D string. All right, now we have this beautiful phrase. So that's 10, 13, 11 on the high E. 14. Now the next phrase, same thing, start 10 to 13 on the B and then just go 11 to 12 on the high E. So. Try and get quieter on that note, on that 14th fret there. Now it, next part we have this. So this might be the toughest phrase of the whole tune, but it's really not that tough either. So at nine to 12 on the G, then skip a string, that's a tough bit, on the 10 of the, of the high E. Then 13, 12 on the B, all right, then we have this. That's 10 on the high E, 13 twice on the B. So, and then at the end we have 12, eight, nine. Again, this phrase starts on the end of three. All these phrases do apart from one. So it goes at one and two and three and four and. Okay. Next phrase, we have this. So that's nine on the G twice. Eight, seven, side up to the 11 on the G, 9, 10, 9 on the D. Then we have this kind of blues lick, I think. That's 12, 10, 12, all right. 10, then we have this. 10, 13, 11, that is the right note. Sounds weird, it's a chromatic note going up to 12. All right, so, and then you, you're back into uh, the, the main theme again. All right, everything is the same, apart from the ending, which you do this. Um, right now, that is exactly the same. Now, remember the first time when we finished it, we went. Now, the notes here are B, E flat, and E. So, what you're doing is a little trick where you're playing, instead of going E flat, E there, you're going E flat, E there. So, it sounds like a, an ending. So, you can just listen to the recording of how I, how I played it at the beginning to put all these phrases together. But if you're counting it, it's one and two and three. So the and of, of three, all right? 
Yeah, so just uh, experiment with that melody. You can experiment with the, with the slides and playing louder and, and softer, especially that bit when it goes up to the 14th fret, that F sharp note, just get quite quiet with that one. All right, so any questions, leave them in the comments uh, below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done uh, already and donate all your money. That's very good, very important that. <laughs> and I'll see you uh, on the next video for the chords.